That's Ali Cooper is the dancer there. Again, Fabio Fletcher is the filmmaker. It's a fun thing I thought you'd like. Uh, we're joined by John Robinson. Hi, John. Hi, Chip. How are you? You're, um, you're performing a, in a, a play for Mountain Community Theater. Yes, I am. You've been busy on the stage lately. Yeah, just a little bit. Do you know my friends Wallace and Dina? Well, I just met Dina tonight. Wallace, I've known for a couple years now. A little bit? Yeah. So you've played... 15, maybe? 20. Something like <laughs> Somewhere that. Somewhere in there, yeah. Speaking of 20 years, you've played a number of roles. I was going through the house. I found this. Oh, no. You can have oh. this. <laughs> All right. Can I get a shot of this? This was John when he was my age. Uh, this this is a, sh a show you did a few years back. Uh, with Wingless. With Wingless Theater. Thank uh, you very much. At the much. same place you're performing now. Yeah, uh, interestingly enough, yeah. And um, so this play is an Edward Albee play. Yes. And you, um, what's the best way to say this? You, you're a goat fucker in the play. Well, you know, that's <laughs> putting it boldly. Um, there is a certain relationship that has occurred prior to the beginning of the play that has to do with certain intimacies that are shared between the character I portray and one portrayed by one who prefers to stand on four legs than two. Um, but that isn't the whole story, Chip. <laughs> um, like I said. Yeah, okay. So who, <laughs> Point who, taken. Who chose the play? Who chose the play is uh, Peter Gelblum, who is the director. And MCT is run by volunteers who uh, come together and they review people's ideas for what they would like to mount, uh, not being the goat in this case right. necessarily, but um, they come together with ideas of plays and they uh, then decide um, what they would like to really put their energies behind. In this case, it became Edward Albee's. What was in the running? I don't know. I uh, mean, I... It, I, I haven't seen the play. I, I, I've seen a bit of his work. And yes. I'm looking forward to it. I think I'm going to go this weekend. Oh, oh good. Because uh, I, I couldn't afford tickets. And well, no, we'll try we to get you some. Show. Yeah, thanks for inviting me You're on. You're welcome. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's, he's bizarre, though. Here's the deal. Now, on a, a very similar show to this, a little smaller venue, it's called the Charlie Rose Show, Edward Albee was on as a guest right about the time right. that this was being produced on Broadway with Bill Pullman and Mercedes Rule in the title characters. And, and Edward Albee said, I think we should learn something when we go to, to theater. I think that's what it's about. If you go there and, and you're not presented with a challenge, then what, what good is it? You're paying $100 for a ticket on Broadway. So you really should be affected. You, you should be impacted. Right. Yeah. How has the response been? Response has been varied. Uh, there's a lot of laughter in the show, even though it's very dramatic, and there's a lot of tension and conflict within the family for obvious reasons. Um, the tremendous laughter, and of course, humor comes out of irony, comes out of things that are juxtaposed about other things, where it's the truth against a person's reaction and the reaction of the reaction, and how the dominoes go. So there's an incredible amount of laughter in it. Did you understand any of that? Oh yeah, absolutely. You didn't. You didn't? I, I got most of it. <laughs> um, Are you qualified? <laughs> I'm absolutely not qualified for this. You know that. But you keep coming on. I don't understand. That's great. Um, and it run, it's playing at the Broadway Playhouse. Broadway Playhouse, right. For another couple of weeks. Yep. Through, now, is this a rerun, really? or is This, this is a rerun, yeah. Okay, this never good. happened. When will this come back? Because by the time it comes back, the election will be over, the play will be over, people can go home. No, it's, I don't know. I really okay. don't know. Uh, so it plays uh, this Friday, Saturday, Sunday, right. which is, I believe, the yeah. 25th, 26th, 27th of right. June, 2010, and then the 1st, 2nd, 3rd of July, closing on Saturday night, July All right. 3rd. All right. What else you want to know? Patrice Vacchion, do you know her? No. Who's Patrice? She? You know Patrice. You know Patrice Absolutely. Vacchion. Yes. Um, Sorry, I don't know anybody. It, I've been out of the loop. Patrice is doing a show over at the Actors Theater this, this oh, weekend. Oh, great. So you want to double up, go see the LB thing. Um, I just want to give Patrice a little plug. Absolutely. You should see it. Well, I wish I could. It's like we always used to say to one another mm -hmm. when we were in shows, I can't, I have rehearsal. I, I I'm sorry, we're both playing the same weekend. Right. It's so funny. That's why you should do shows on Tuesday nights. I think so. Tuesday and Wednesday nights. You'd have a much bigger audience in this town. <laughs> or maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing it. It's, it, it. I hear the cast is sensational. Cast is amazing. And it's I'm not really, just it's just, in it. it's just four people in the cast. So everybody gets an opportunity, I think. And, and the, the cast, when you have a small cast show, 
the, the nice thing is that, especially with this one, uh, Jeff Swan, Tara McMillan, uh, Michael Wiggins play the other three characters, and they all do a phenomenal job. And it's an ensemble piece. It's just an mm -hmm. ensemble piece. But John is on stage every minute. Is that true? I think so. If I'm off, we're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> because literally there is no intermission it's about a hundred minutes long and it's just a train ride all the way through from beginning to end Sounds uh, so it's very fun there's no intermission no intermission no there really isn't any need for it because it's just so boom 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 are any animals harmed during the production of this play no no thank you for asking there is a mention of the SPCA as well so okay, okay. I think we have all our bases or Edward Albee has covered all the bases okay yeah hmm um, speaking of people being harmed during the show, you mentioned before the show, uh, 104 years ago, you're doing Mice and Men. I was stage managing your show. Oh, yeah, yeah. This, everybody will this. love hearing this. We were doing a Thursday night show, and we had cast people from all over the Bay Area, Oakland, Richmond, Monterey. People were coming from far and wide to be in the show. This was up at the Barn this Theater. This was the Barn I'm Theater, 1992, mm -hmm. and Chip was the stage manager. We first worked together in 1990 on Fool for Love, and this was Of Mice and Men wow. by John Steinbeck. Mm -hmm. And uh, so Chip was stage managing, and the, the man who was playing Curly, which is the antagonist role, uh, is the boss's son, and he's just ready to beat up everybody, doesn't show his car broke down and it's about curtain time and we look at Chip and he looks at us and I don't know what's going to happen and so we start the show with me and Lenny, I was playing George, <laughs> at the river eating our beans talking about how we got to go show up at the ranch. Next thing you know we get to the ranch and in walks Curly <laughs> and it's Chip and he's not holding the script. Oh, he has already learned the lines from being at rehearsal so much to a point where he didn't have to carry a book or anything. He just did you the new guys coming? <laughs> I just felt tired. It was perfect. And he was incredible. I mean, that was amazing. I have staged better, everyone. The, yeah. the good thing about that, it was a, it was a Thursday night? It was a Thursday I night. I think yeah. there were three people in the no, audience. No, there, there were a hundred people there. No, there you were blew not. them away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, were, they asked for autographs and stuff. There were three people and none of them have any. There had to be four people. Point. I know it. Maybe four. No, there and were in 1992, you were what, 19? So uh, It was around <laughs> He was 12, that. actually. Was we had to get special dispensation from the minor labor law actors. And then the Grapes of Wrath came a couple years later. Steinbeck in the Barn Theater again. Another two. Perfect show. There you go. That's yep. fantastic. What a legacy in this community. Yeah. Are they, they're not doing shows at the Barn Theater anymore, are they? I believe they are. Are but they? I don't know that they're doing... Can uh, you look into that? Yeah, I'll, I'll get back to you and then we'll, you'll have to help me mount the next one. All right, we'll do it. It won't be the goat, though. And I will, I will be the understudy for whatever, whatever role you play. Or for the goat, not for the goat. <laughs> um, so the, uh, the goat, or who is Sylvia, is playing at the Broadway Playhouse uh, coming up. Uh, this weekend and people can find out about weekend. tickets at mctshows.org. Is that up there? Yep, we got that right there. Cool. Um, we'll have to see that. Send us a postcard from London. All right, it's on. Will you read us a story before we get out of here? Absolutely, sure. And um, right there's this very second. Can you? I think so. Do I think I can pull that off. And <laughs> I, I was, you know, one of the things. The, I'm this not familiar book, with this particular uh, material, but I know it's. The, the, the author is, is crazy, I think you'll like it. A lot of this leads up to the, the election and the inauguration, like the timing of the book, it kind of culminates yeah. with Obama. The piece you're gonna read has nothing to do with, with right. that. Wallace, thank you for your voice of sanity over the years. What about my voice of insanity? You that too. <laughs> that like that no, I love that too. <laughs> That's you. probably what sets off the sanity. Uh, thank you. <laughs>